What's up, YouTube? What's going on? This your boy Anthony, aka Irk, as what they know from me at Western. And that's what I'm here to talk about. It's my experience at WIU, aka Western Illinois University. Now, my experience at WIU was wonderful. I'm talking about I enjoyed every aspect of Western Illinois University. If I was to give you all a grading of my experience at WIU, I would literally give y'all a 4.5. I don't know when you're thinking why I'm missing 0.5 points on the star scale, but I'll let you know about that afterwards, like at, towards the end of the video, a little bit later on. But like I was saying, though, my experience at WIU it was very good, especially when it came to hooping in my social life. My grades weren't bad at all. I averaged a B average of 3.0, 2.9, you know, around that range. You know, so academically, I really didn't have no problem until there was one situation where, you know, plagiarism came in. And, you know, the teacher kind of set me up for that because she said no quoting. And it was a research paper. And, you know, with research paper, you do have to quote what the people say on their website that you get your information from. But other than that, though, hooping-wise, at WIU, I came into WIU not knowing how to, like, basically, you know, take control of the offense, like run plays and do your own thing on the court, you know, kind of like, you know, get yourself some points, but then again, get others some points and play defense. But when I went to WIU, that conditioning – it's opportunity that you have, like you can work out every day on your own, you know, seven days a week, all day, almost all day, every day. But that conditioning for you really gets you better because you see all the people in there, you know, working out every day, working hard in the gym. And then you see the hoopers in there cashing out threes all day. Some people get dunked on when clearly they say, you know, dunking on a purple backboard. You know, you're like, wow, you know, you know, I want to be like that someday. So I come in. Only knowing how to make layups, not knowing how to shoot at all. So, you know, after I was playing for, you know, the WIU Intramural Tournament team, that had got my shooting better and then my playmaking and court vision better too. Because, you know, at WIU, you really have a free will when you're playing basketball of what you do. Because no one really knows what to, what to expect from you unless you like, very, very known. And they, you know, they expect you to do it. But when you usually, you know, when you pick up, you pick up four random people that you either know or don't know. So, you know, you have a free will to basically... You know, try things and do what you do. You know, if you wanted to do something that you thought you never could do, you could do that too. And I never forget to know the people that was at WIU when I was hooping there. You know, that was my homie Juice, my homie Corey. Corey, oh my God, he, this man, he probably the best player I've seen at Western so far because this man know how to shoot, play defense, and all that. Good dunk, all that. So that he he was basically my motivation at that school. Then him and you know my homie Juice, he know how to shoot. So you know he's my inspiration to shoot because he always talks trash to me, saying he had better shooting than me. You know my comparative spirit be like, no, I'm not going. We're gonna have a shootout. You know sometimes he'll beat me, sometimes I'll beat him. You know. And then also the hoopers there, you know they come there about three times out of the week. To you know, hoop with you and everything. You know they'll go seven and zero, and then when they lose that one game, you know they'll probably just go to the dorm rooms or back to practice something like that. Whatever they do that day, and you know, and and it be packs of people waiting to play them. Like people really do want to play the people. On the team because not only one they want to show off and two they want to make an impression on them so they can possibly get on the team. But the people who are actually like wreck hoopers, there was only like two legit people that can make it. That was my man's Corey and that was my man's Matthews. But the only reason Matthew was like kind of like you know able to make it was because dude was like 
six, 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 seven. So you know who wouldn't want to pick up a six, seven, six, six guy? You know that know stuff about basketball. I mean, he was damn near one of the tallest people at Western. You know, and that's on the, only the hooper tip. But social wise, social wise, social wise. At first, you do get nervous, and you have to get accustomed to. All your surroundings and everything. Make sure, you know, if the people that you choose is the right people you should choose. So, with that being, the first people, like my first semester of WIU, I always partied with my roommate and a bunch of white boys. Now, mind you, I'm going to tell you this right now. College white people know how to party. If if you want to go to your first college party, make it a white frat party because they will get you drunk for free and you will enjoy yourself. And then after first semester, my roommate, you know, he saw another opportunity at this school in Boston with music and stuff because that's his major music production. So he moved. And then another one of my, uh, what our floor mates ever moved to my room, and he was a black guy. Not no no racist or anything, you know, he was a black guy. So, you know, he hung out with white people too. And, you know, after a while, you know, it's like, you know, it gets old, so you want to hang around a different crowd of people. So, you know, I started hanging with the Kappas, the Sigmas, the Alphas, the Thetas, you know, all them. Auto frats, you know, and with doing that, you know, your network is getting up because you you see a lot of people know your face, you know, especially if you want the people that come into the party and you turn up, you are going to be known at a college because they be like, you know, you always at a party, turn up though, you know, why don't you come with me? So I just be like, mm, okay, you know, but how really how I get my name out there on the map is involve myself. With not only the popular crowd, but just different types of people. Like, I didn't really just, you know, stick with just the popular crowd. I stuck with the popular crowd, you know, my homies from the first semester, my classmates, new people, all that stuff. I just involved myself around every aspect. And then I got myself involved into groups and stuff that, you know, help promote parties, basically. And the main project that we had was we had to promote a King Louie party because he came there around, what was that, April. So, you know, with that being, you sell tickets and everything, people are going to know your name quickly and they're going to know your face. So, basically, my overall, my experience at WIU has been great. I completely enjoyed it. The reason I transfer is because I see a better opportunity at American Intercontinental University with my major in information technology and I feel like with that it will basically you know have a better graduating future with me instead of just you know just me graduating out of Western and then I might have to still do some years because I have an extra experience with this you know I have you know what I need and then the experience that I need to get the job that I actually want and not just getting any job out there. You know, I want a job in my field. And that's the whole point of college after you graduate is to get a career in your field, not just a job with just anything else. So if you went to WIU, uh, you know, I invite you to check this out. You know, if you got any questions, just leave it on the comments or just, you know, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you know, and all that stuff. Peace.